All right. So I'm sure at least one or two of us was um, affected by the wildfires that were going on. When the wildfires consumed people's homes, local high schools were turned into evacuation centers. Laura High School, my alma mater, was one of them. My friends and I went to the high school to see if they needed volunteers, um, but we were informed that the Red Cross was coming fully staffed. We were amazed because, God forbid, you should ever need the Red Cross, and it's reassuring, reassuring to know that um, they're there to help whenever you need them. Commun community service is the glue that holds our communities together. A representative from the Red Cross said, All-American Red Cross Disaster Assistance is made possible by voluntary donations of time and money from the American people. Today I'm going to talk about why community service is important, my involvement in a community service, and opportunities for you to get involved. We are constantly surrounded by people and communities in need. We all know of impoverished neighborhoods with schools that are run down, houses that are barely livable, and parks that have been forgotten and left to rest. We see homeless people walking the streets, begging for money so that they can eat. The Monday morning after the fires began, Chris Jansen from the Today Show reported that an estimated 800 houses had been lost to the wildfire, leaving hundreds of people homeless and in need of help. In cases like the ones mentioned, it is important for people from the community help, to help out the people in need. There are personal benefits to community service. It gives one satisfaction knowing that a simple act that you did changed someone's life. But besides the personal benefits, there are also scholarly benefits. I'm sure most of us are applying to transfer to a university, and it's, um, it's a big plus on your application <coughs> if you put that you've done a lot of community service. It shows you don't just care about your own well-being. We take a lot of things for granted and often don't think about giving back. The solution to these problems is simple, volunteering. With endless opportunities to volunteer, everybody can get involved. I've had the chance to take advantage of these opportunities. For example, fun some of my first-hand experience with volunteering includes working with my church and a nonprofit organization called the Interfaith Shelter Network. The ag agency provides housing and food for a group of 10 to 12 homeless men and women in, in local churches throughout Orange County. These men and women are able to devote themselves to training and jobs, so they train them um, how to be away from the homeless lifestyle, and they give them house and food so they don't have to be out in the streets um, begging for money. Working with this group, my family and I have been able to become acquainted with friendly and personable individuals who have been transformed from the depressed and rejected person on the corner asking for money into persons with hope for their future. This opportunity has helped me realize that because of all the privileges I have in my life, I feel I have a responsibility to help others who aren't as fortunate. I've also had the privilege to travel to Mexico to build homes um, and, and for impoverished Mexican families with uh, an organization called Corazón, which means heart in Spanish. Um, they use mostly donated supplies by like big companies and we build houses and it takes like a day because it's a lot of volunteers that go. Um, the day ends with the ceremony, it's like a, a big party for like the family that we're giving the home to. Um, we hand over the keys to the family who the day before probably lived in a shack made of cardboard and other discarded materials. It's a great feeling to know that I have had a positive impact in somebody else's life. There are plenty of ways that you can get involved with community service. Some common community service activities are, there's, it's easy, you can just go clean a park, you can, um, like she said, you can recycle, that's community service. <laughs> You're helping um, the community by doing that. You can collect items for like homeless shelters, like clothes, take food, or you can go volunteer at a homeless shelter. You can also do things like go to the hospital, they can always let you volunteer, go read to the sick kids, or um, um, take hours and volunteer at nursing homes because people, old people that are in nursing homes, they usually don't have anyone to go visit them. So you can go and be their new friend. Um, <laughs> um, on volunteering in the U.S.'s website, they say that finding the opportunity that best suits your skills and expectations can make all the difference in your experience. Like for example, if you hate sports and you don't do sports at all, it's not a good thing to go and 
coach a little league's game because you probably would suck at it and the kids would hate you, so it's not a good idea. Um, for a list of volunteer opportunities, you can visit on websites like volunteermatch.com, volunteercenter.org, and usafreedomcorps.com. And those are just a couple of websites. You can also Google volunteer work in the OC and a bunch of lists would come up. Um, if the personal and scholarly benefits I mentioned aren't enough to get you to volunteer, um, every year Boost Mobile and Rock, Rock Corps join together and give a concert. And the way to obtain a ticket is if you give them proof that you did volunteer work, then you can get a ticket. And some of the artists that have participated in the event are Akon, Ludacris, Taking Back Sunday, <coughs> Lil Wayne, Beyonce, and Robin Thicke, and that's just a couple of them. On their website, they have a longer list of all the artists that have participated in it. And I'm sure that knowing that you've helped someone is, the concert is just a plus, but knowing that helping some, that you helped and changed someone's life is reward enough. So today I've explained why it's important to volunteer. I've shared with you my personal experiences in community service. And lastly, I have given you ideas on what you can do to help your community. At first, it may seem like something of non importance, and you may feel like one person won't make a difference. And if you find yourself thinking that way, just remember, Martin Luther King once said, everybody, everybody can make a difference because everybody can serve. Thank you. All right, Bradley, what did you think? Um, she was kind of script dependent in the beginning, but um, she did set up the speech, and so we knew what she was talking about. Um, as far as citing sources and everything, she, whatever I thought she needed to, she, she had knew where we knew where we could go look up on the website and stuff like that. Um, in the in the middle of the speech, where it got like to the personal story, she was good on eye contact and not reading notes and everything. So we kind of got the connection with her as a speaker. So that was good. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'd agree with you at the uh, on that last part. Uh, when you're doing the personal stories, you connect a lot more with the audience and you talk to us a little bit more directly and it's easier to relate to. I think you need to uh, develop the need a little bit more, um, the context in which people are suffering or the places where people could use assistance. Uh, especially, I, I thought you had a good start when you were talking about the, what happened recently with the fires, and I think that you could talk, for instance, about local areas that do have a shortage of coaches for the Little League teams, or that places where they do need uh, assistance at the homeless shelter, or, you know, uh, and since you focused on local issues, I, I like the example that you have, that I, you know, your own personal experience, but I do think that maybe there would be some other things that you could include there that would make it uh, fill out a little bit more. Um, let's see. I, I, I thought that it was reasonably well cited. Um, the, uh, it, just a, a personal <laughs> issue, another one of those pronunciation things. I know because I did. I made this mistake back when I was in the ninth grade. Somebody correct me on it. I always remembered it. I felt a little self-conscious about it then. I still do now. So I'm going to pick on you and share. <laughs> now you'll feel this horribly about it. Corpse is a dead person. So okay, it's, okay. <laughs> and I know it's spelled corpse. Mm -hmm. It's core. Okay. You know, the P is silent, yeah. you know, so whatever the group was, the help core or whatever it is, it's definitely the help core, not the help corpse, okay. <laughs> you know. Like I said, I made the same mistake at one point, 